Hi and welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Friday the 10th of February 2023. So stocks, bonds, bullion and Bitcoin all blasted amid uh, broad based selling. Nothing was safe in today's violent uh, reversal which uh, we'll get into in just a moment. Stocks dive and yields rise as eyes turn on CPI next week. The CPI numbers are out on Tuesday of next week. US stocks faltered uh, and all major indices wiped out uh, initial gains during yesterday's uh, move but we had a very strong move to the upside didn't we yesterday morning and that was a result of the Bank of Japan hinting at actually pivoting and that's all that was required to send the market uh, vertical yesterday morning which of course it uh, ran out of steam later and today's economic news uh, we've got uh, 7 a.m we've got uh, GDP for the uh, UK it's uh, minus 0 0.3 as opposed to previous 0 0.1 so a drop in that uh, what else have we got that's of any significance? Uh, prelim UOM, that's uh, an interesting one. That's out at uh, 3 p.m. And uh, FOMC member uh, Wallet is speaking at uh, 5.30. So uh, yesterday's Dow, you can see that it's red bar, the market closing back below the 5 and uh, the 20. So we need to look at this in a bit more detail. And uh, the 30 minute shows uh, what happened. The market got to uh, Wednesday's high. You can see there they managed to pump the market up and then uh, the market uh, moved lower as can be seen here. So uh, yesterday's range was all the way down and uh, we had a range of 642 points to the downside uh, yesterday for the Dow uh, after the market uh, found some weakness and then uh, moved to the downside. Like I say, uh, it's amazing how the narrative changed to justify the actions. But these markets have been moving up for a very, very long time, as uh, we can see from uh, this uh, daily chart. They're going all the way back to October. We've had uh, a massive uh, move in the Dow. So the total move is uh, 6,000 points uh, in the Dow since October. So like I say, a very, very big move. And now the market is in need of a breather and a corrective uh, move to the downside. You see prices are stuck in a range with the Dow. It's not as strong as the European markets, which have moved a lot more uh, in percentage terms. But uh, yeah, it's still uh, in need of a correction and a reality check back to the downside. I don't think uh, the bear market's over, but uh, they've used uh, the last three months and the Santa rally to move the markets uh, to the upside there. In the German DAX, uh, we've got a strong up thrust yesterday. Market uh, saw prices uh, thrust to the upside. The selling came in, followed the Dow. Overnight, the market's uh, more sideways uh, to higher there. Let's just have a look at the 30 minute chart. So again, you saw that a strong move to the upside yesterday morning, moving up 150 points. And then uh, the market moving down to the 200 MA was a big move to the downside before the end of the uh, trading session there. Let's just draw this in and uh, you'll see there down 254 points for the Dow, uh, DAX before the close. Then overnight uh, the market uh, trying to get back above yesterday's low which it will uh, do its best uh, to do this uh, later today when the market uh, opens. In the five minute chart for yesterday, you can see the market blasting to the upside to start off with, then trading sideways, then having its second wind, and then uh, that was it uh, for the day. And you see the market then moving down for the remainder of the day. Fortunately, I caught uh, most of this move, and uh, I'll show you the results uh, for this week now. So, uh, 49254, 492.54, uh, we got a profit factor of 2.8. And the win loss is only 50 50 for the week, but uh, nonetheless, still a, a good week. So, yeah, coming back to uh, the DAX, uh, we've got uh, the overnights where the price has moved a bit lower, but you can see they're already trying to get back above yesterday's low, which they'll do whatever they can in their powers uh, to bring the market back to the upside. Just depends how much more weakness they'll find from yesterday, and if it's closes back below the low, then uh, continue in the move to the downside, which uh, we can see in the daily chart. So we had a, a new high yesterday for the German DAX. 
and uh, you can see there we've got uh, the 78 and 89 should the market continue to move to the downside we're so overbought that we are due a correction in this market and also if we look at the implied volatility uh, we'll see that this uh, increased uh, yesterday as well uh, we're now at 1817 and uh, as I've mentioned before over the last few weeks uh, if we look at the 12 month data uh, that we're in that area where we were due a correction anyway so it's all starting to uh, stack up there for uh, the uh, the implied uh, volatility giving an indication that uh, we should see a correction but of course uh, we have got the cpi numbers uh, next week and there we go so tuesday we've got uh, the cpi from the us and uh, again their forecast to be lower so that should be bullish for the market if they come out at that price on uh, Tuesday. So again, we'll look at that in more detail when uh, we get closer to it next week. In the S&P market down yesterday, we certainly got a bit of a downtrend going on there now with lower highs. Market finding support overnight uh, above uh, yesterday's low for the S&P. At the moment, the FTSE also coming off, having made its new all-time high again yesterday, which is going to be uh, 7948. And in the 30-minute chart, uh, you'll see prices uh, moving down there, and it's trying to get back above uh, yesterday's low at uh, the moment. You see uh, trying to, to bring the market up a bit there. And in the currencies, we've got uh, GBB, JPY. This is uh, stuck in the sideways range up uh, yesterday. The dollar was down. See that market there uh, moving up 100 points and then uh, stuck at the high overnight and uh, also in the sideways range. Now, the pound moving strongly yesterday as the dollar moved lower uh, sideways uh, overnight. There's your move to the upside and then it was uh, brought back to the high. And then uh, you can see the market just uh, trying to move uh, back towards the DP at the moment. US dollar sideways, obviously waiting now for the CPI numbers on Friday. So it's a bit range bound there. And in the metals, yesterday hammered again, as uh, can be seen there with the silver price down. But overnight finding a bit of support as uh, you see price is trying to get back above the low but monkey hammered uh, during the uh, London fix as usual uh, back down to uh, $22 an ounce so down $2 uh, on uh, this week's trading gold uh, also down to the 50 bar moving average uh, also uh, double bottom more or less and uh, finding a bit of support there and the same for uh, the 30 minute chart there you can see uh, struggling to stay above uh, yesterday's low at the moment so it's going to be interesting to see what the markets do during today and monday as it waits for the cpi numbers to be released by the us uh, this uh, coming tuesday okay that's it uh, for this one if there is anything to report i'll let you know but uh, yeah as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one